I'm trying to help Ryan, but he seems to think he can get more done when I'm not around. Eh, another day on the job designing this office space. I'm Kaylin Rothhouse, and that's me and my first building project and my first power lunch. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to be a designer. And now here I am, creating functional and fabulous spaces. This is my client, Mark Alfieri, founder and chairman of Brandstar. And that's Carmen, his chief operating officer. They've asked me to take this building and turn it into a modern and efficient workspace. It's going to be a challenge. But in the end, the new space will be functional and most definitely be fabulous. Well, we've come a very long way in just a few short months. My design challenge has always been to take a lot of employees and move them into a much smaller workspace, making them more productive than ever with the latest and greatest cutting edge technology. Now, energy consumption has always been a key consideration in the design of this office space. A lot of money can be saved with proper control of the HVAC system. So when I met Trevor Palmer from Distech Controls and found out how Distech Controls building management system can control a whole building from one system, or even from any mobile device, I knew it was an energy match for my design. This is pretty typical of a facility like this. This is all the controls, uh, and I mean everything, that's controlling all the four air conditioning units and pulling all the data in. And the data is actually archived within this unit. Distech uh, control started in the uh, mid-90s, uh, and uh, our mission was obviously to provide uh, building owners with uh, energy management systems. So we've got sensors throughout the entire facility and we're taking an average of these. So let's go into a room so you can show me. So if you go into this, this is actually giving you what's happening. So this is the space temperature, 72.7 degrees. Uh, this is the humidity. Really the products like ours is becoming more accessible and more affordable from a total installed cost perspective. But not only that, the, uh, the pressure for uh, companies to become more environmentally responsible has also become very important. So just like Acuity Brands has their own control system for the lighting in our office space, Distech has control over the HVAC system. And not surprisingly, these two energy controllers are tied together. Typically lighting uh, and HVAC equipment within facilities are two separate domains. Beauty Brands acquired uh, Dista Controls, and uh, the fact that we've been acquired, it shows the promise of collectively unifying these two systems uh, under one visualization piece. In order to have our HVAC and our lighting and a whole bunch of different disciplines controlled under one system is such a benefit. The Dista Controls Envision Dashboard allows you to monitor and display the building's energy information on a screen wherever and whenever you need it. So this is giving you the electrical demand uh, on the facility currently. It's uh, giving you the energy consumption itself, uh, what the room, the average room temperatures, how we're controlling the piece of AC unit. It's also giving you again weather data and the forecast, uh, the electrical energy cost year to date. This facility consumes between six and eight kilowatts at night, and somewhere between uh, 20 and 22 kilowatts average throughout the day. It's energy information that is constantly being updated through sensors that have been installed by Distech Controls throughout the entire facility. But the multi-sensors within the facility themselves are uh, closer to an environmental sensor than actually just a static temperature device. So they, uh, they provide motion sensing, uh, CO2, humidity, and temperature capabilities. So as soon as somebody comes into the office, uh, they're walking by a sensor and it's actually driving on the air conditioning or a lighting within the facility. The bottom line is that Distech Controls will allow us to operate the building more efficiently. Now, not only do we want all this new technology to help operate the building more efficiently, we also want it to add to the overall appearance of this office space. Now, from a designer's perspective, it was very important for me to consider the ceiling and its organization and placement. I used several linear fixtures in this project in order to create organization and symmetry. This helps you focus on design details and not a disorganized ceiling. And that's why I brought in Fred Book from Metal Industries. 
His company specializes in moving air by design. Metal Industries was, uh, was founded back in the 40s, so as air conditioners were coming out, they needed grills, they needed someone to blow the air through. Since then, we've grown into a, a global manufacturer. We make the devices that allow you to pull air in and out of a building, and we make all of the air devices that allow you to distribute the air throughout the building. And anything really to do with air moving except for the fans. Now, I specifically chose the Metal Industries linear diffusers because they not only work with the Armstrong grid, they move the air while creating clean symmetry at the same time. Our Formations family of linear diffusers is designed for designers to be able to integrate product into their design. Uh, there's really no limitations to what we can do with that as far as width and length. We were able to provide her with uh, a linear product that integrated into the ceiling and really doesn't detract from the design at all. It really integrates right into it. The certain amount of air that has to show up in each space for uh, occupant comfort and safety and health. And so uh, our job was to make sure we provide a product that integrates with the design but performs in a way that uh, doesn't create any noise, doesn't create any drafts, but allows the proper amount of air to come into each space. The Metal Industries Linear Diffuser is made for the Armstrong grid and it just makes the ceiling look a lot cleaner. And that's the perfect fit for my design. I've designed a very modular, movable, and flexible room here at the center of Brandstar, which I consider to be the heart of the company. So my design challenge is to make sure I designed a space that met the needs of our social digital team and also supported their needs in the future. So I wanted to create a space for the social digital team that was movable, modular, and flexible. So when I found these flexible seating and flip tables from Mayline, it was the perfect solution. Now it was really important that this room have multiple screens because everyone here will be working on multiple projects and watching separate screens at the same time. It gives the digital team a choice in how they want to work. And that's how I made Mayline Systems Furniture work in this space. So my design challenge was to include some kind of art installation in the lobby and secondary entrance. So this being a green building, I found a product by Noble Environmental that actually was recycled denim and cardboard painted with an iron particle infused paint. When these panels of material were inserted into a three form grid system, you could create your own really cool art. It's nice to repurpose something that would otherwise have just been tossed away. So with Ryan helping me, we created a grid pattern on site and installed it on the wall. And it was a lot of fun to put up. So the social digital space is almost complete, but I still wanted something modular in the room. I found exactly what I was looking for online. The Mendy system of modular furniture from Alda Design. So I decided to come here today to beautiful Miami to check out the Alda showroom because I really wanted to see the product myself. Alan and Max from Alda Design were only too happy to show me their unique line of modular furniture and make sure it fit into my design. So I have a room and I have a wall that's all glass. Okay. And I want to line that entire wall with a sofa, a soft seating of some kind. The modular system, you can move very easy. You have a lot of uh, different uh, possibility, like uh, this, know you know. Here. This is the fabric sample. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we have a lot of uh, different possibilities. That's this perfect. is a great solution. Yeah. The Ottomans are great as well. Yeah, the Ottomans as well, as well, of course. And I love that there's so much flexibility. Supply you a 3D plan, you know, with the exact colors, you know, so you will see exactly what you will get in your social media room. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Sounds great. It sounds perfect. <laughs> I absolutely love the Mendy, and I know that it's the perfect product for our social digital space. With the latest cutting edge video technology filling each Brandstar conference room, we also wanted to make sure we had the latest technology in microphones for high quality audio. For that, I turned to Clear One for their state-of-the-art system of multiple microphones positioned in one sleek ceiling unit, designed to pick up sound from anywhere in the room. It was a clear choice for Brandstar's IT director, Adam Brown, as it fit perfectly into my design plan for the boardroom. 
So Clear One provided us with uh, microphones for our conference rooms. Uh, they're beamforming microphones, which have uh, many microphones in one unit. So it allows for much greater coverage with one singular, more aesthetically pleasing device. Uh, the installation of these products is super simple. Uh, it's just one cable that runs back to the, uh, the control room where it ties into their uh, receiver, which allows us to record all of the, the, the audio from those conference rooms. Each beam-forming microphone has 24 microphone elements and replaces up to 10 traditional microphones. That allows a presenter to walk virtually anywhere in the conference space and still be able to record high quality audio. In conjunction with their beamforming microphones that we have installed on the ceiling, they also provided uh, wireless microphones, uh, lav mics and uh, goosenecks mics for the tables so we can have uh, better control and, and uh, be able to really record the presenters, whether they're roaming around the table or if they're sitting at the table, we can uh, capture their audio much cleaner than uh, we would with uh, typical microphones. And as a designer, I have to admit I loved the idea that so many microphones could be hidden away in one clean, attractive unit that matched the sleek design of this boardroom ceiling. Now, when employees move into this office space, it's going to be so important that they have the latest software technology at their fingertips to start doing business. And that means a database with the most up-to-date information on decision makers, for the sales and marketing team to contact each day. For that, Mark brought in Anna Fisher, Director of Marketing at Zoom Information, to meet with Mark and his top sales and marketing executive, Ron. If we're going after a specific market we want to actually communicate with, um, how, how do you guys do, deal with that? Say you're doing it either on a mass scale or you know one salesperson trying to prospect that account. What we'll give you access to is those exact people at those companies. Again, their email addresses, their phone numbers, a way to actually reach them. It's really hard to find out who is the decision maker at a company and get through to that decision maker. And the fact that Zoom Info provides us real time or updated information uh, that's relevant is, is, is critically important to us. All that rich information allows us to have uh, much more efficient conversations or much more efficient contact uh, to these companies that we're reaching out to. How big is the actual information that you have? Is, do you have a really large database and does it, cover, does it span or is it very narrowly focused? Our database is very large and growing every day. We have over 100 million contacts at over 10 million companies. And the idea is that we have information on very broad industries, so multiple different industries regardless of what you're looking for. Agriculture, it could be anything. Exactly, right? it could be agriculture, it could be education. The key here is access to direct dial phone numbers and updated contact information in order to help sales cut down on wasted research. So I think one of the ways that Zoom Info fits in is it makes sure that with the technology at people's fingertips, they're able to access contact and company information that they need to do their job better. Zoom Info is really going to help us be much more efficient with the ability to contact the brands that we need to reach out to and the key decision makers and companies in order for us to do business at a higher rate. So Mark had envisioned this social digital space for everyone to see what's happening here at the heart of the company. But I felt the social digital team needed some privacy. So I wanted to create a special effect on the glass in this social digital room, and I didn't want it to feel like a fishbowl, so I decided to add a little color. Not just a little bit, a lot of color. For this extravaganza of color, I turned to Tammy Johnson from 3M Company. So Tammy, I'm so glad that you're here today because I have been looking into dichroic film for a while. It's super hot, it's on trend, it's a really cool look and feel. And it was a really good fit for Brandstar. Number one, because the color of the gems. And this room is like the heart and soul and the heartbeat because of the social digital team. So I really wanted to highlight that in a conceptual way with the dichroic film. So you probably know 3M more for some of our consumer products like our post-it notes, our command adhesives and such. But this product that we're talking with here is reinvigorated by a new adhesive that allows it to adhere to a glass surface or plastic surfaces if you wanted to as well. Tammy made it sound so easy that I decided to try it myself and help Brian with the next few glass panels. Okay, so now this is the tricky part. We have to actually flip this whole thing over. Okay. 
Thankfully, it's a forgiving material to install. I came up with this concept a little after this glass was installed because I was worried about people's safety. It's clear glass. This dichroic film is actually one product in our line of glass finishes. So what it does is provide the customer and consumer a nice way to engage all everybody that's in the facilities and it also provides a very unique experience so as you move down this wall you're going to start seeing the colors really start to react and engage everybody as they're going through the facility i have to admit i had a lot of fun installing this with ryan and i think the impact it makes is just amazing i'm totally thrilled it looks awesome well, i appreciate it it's been a great experience and i think you're really going to love the overall effect absolutely so my design challenge for this building, the overarching concept, was to create an environment that was more paperless and also to have less printers available to the end user so that they weren't printing and being wasteful. Also to be able to access a printer from wherever their workstation might be. That flexibility to print from anywhere and from any mobile device is especially important here in the social digital flex space. So that's why I turned to Dino Pagliarella from Konica Minolta. Konica Minolta has become a leader in information management and high-tech multifunctional printing. Well, Conic Minolta does a variety of things. Uh, we focus on enterprise content management, technology optimization, and cloud services, along with document management. We do a lot of things for the office environment to make things work smoothly every single day. So with both desktop and color office MFPs being delivered to the social digital room and a Konica Minolta service team arriving on site to take care of the installation, it's exciting to watch this flexible workspace become a reality. The Conic Minolta product is extremely versatile. Uh, it allows you to have the ability to print from the cloud. Uh, you can scan things to the cloud. You can print wirelessly from your, from your iPad or your mobile phone. The point is, today's multifunctional printers, also known as MFPs, do so much more than just print or make copies anymore. They can be integral into an office space. You know, a lot of times when you look at the control panel, it's very confusing. There's a lot of options and capabilities, and people get kind of overwhelmed by all the things it can do. So we simplified it for you. We created three major buttons, copy, scan, and email. So if I want to make a quick copy, all I have to do is touch copy, and I have a very simple screen here. The great things about the product is that we have the ability to install apps on the product, similar to what you need to do on your phone. It's called the Biz Hub Marketplace. And uh, we have apps such as environmental apps, um, cloud-based uh, software management apps. We can do things such as ability to customize your panel. And I'm just excited for the digital team to see all this new technology that will be available to them. It's been raining all day today, but it's installation day today for our Mendy sofa. And the truck has just arrived, and a little rain is not going to stop us from installation. With each unit wrapped in plastic to protect it from the rain, I was so excited to see the Mendy installed that I decided to help the workers move in furniture myself. Should we lift it? Is it heavy? It oh, is, it's nothing. Again, super light. <laughs> each section of Mendy furniture was a piece of art in itself, lightweight and modular, and I'm thrilled with the upholstery I selected. I think everybody in this room is gonna be really surprised because it's been a pretty cold room. So this is bringing in so much color, warmth, texture. It's beautiful, it's gonna be great. Yeah, you can keep it on the side, on the front, you know, whatever you want. Well, and, and I love it because it, it gives it, the end user and, so many options. And light. And very light. I just right. carried it in. With, a strong, with one hand, with yeah. my pinky. So according to the plans, each Mendy unit is set into place. I can't help but feel that this beautiful modular furniture truly completes this space. I absolutely love it. I think it warms the space, it completes the space, and I know that the people who are using this room are absolutely going to be thrilled yeah. that they have some soft seating. So thank you guys so much. I invite everybody can use it, you know, mm -hmm. move it, change it, you know, whatever they want, you know, it's really perfect. And what does Mark think about this final reveal of the social digital space? Oh, that is awesome. His reaction was just the icing on the cake. This is, this is gorgeous. You love it? Wow, you you you, you knocked it out of the park. Uh, you really thank did. You. You, knocked, <laughs> you knocked it out of the park for this one. This is incredible. Thanks, Mark. Right. I'm so glad. This is wonderful. Oh, thank good. you. This is. Yes. I can't wait. I can't wait to get people in here. I know. Me too. <laughs> Our 90-day deadline to complete this office space has arrived. 
Next week, the finishing touches will be added to the outdoors as we get ready to cut the ribbon for the final reveal. So tune in and join the party.